or YouTube as my another video where I made a central heating thermostat for my for my home well it the, the concert what I'm trying to build a whole network of 2.5 gigahertz transceivers where I'm using these transceivers these transceivers are very cheap ones and they work pretty good they are work pretty good. in the start I had a startup I had a bit of trouble with them well that's very common of them uh, when you try to put them on 3.3 volts and obviously your supply is not very filtered so I had to put two two capacitor on every time on each one of them to get the nice out of well let me tell you something about the project what I done is here I have used uh, one humidity sensor and uh, one temperature sensor um, and uh, this unit whole unit would be would be in a small box would be in a small box like this one in this one and uh, it will be battery powered and will be put into any room to control the central heating whereas at the, this is all wireless at the moment at the moment it's working wirelessly as well as you can see there's a humidity sensor which controls the humidity in the room I got a dehumidifier to control the control the de control the humidity level infrared here infrared receiver where I can where rather than using it push buttons on that unit I use the remote control here and my plans are to put a transmitter as well to use that to use that particular trans infrared transmitter if I wanted to send anything wirelessly to it because I'm gonna make in the end a home full home automation system where everything will be communicating with each other so this is a controlling unit which will be which will be it could be in any room and as you can see it's working wise you can see the set point is uh, and also the humidity set point is also there and this is my relay control for central heating in this project I used a uh, Adveno mini mini pro and this one I used the nano they both are really cheap ones and I've used the heavy relay I don't don't really need it but I just wanted to, don't want to take any risk this is just a power supply which can which I just took out rather than making a new one I just took it out of this one all right so just to make it much easier and as you can see is the options are the remote remote means it's gonna take the set point from this controlling unit and local means if I want it running all the time and central heating will take control controlled by boiler self as you can see and uh, this is all seems to be working order let me increase the set point of the heating as you can see by using my remote control there we go so you can there you go heating is started this relay is kicked in this relay is kicked in and you can see it's keep on flashing means it's running if there will be any fault the comps LED will flash it this is also again completely wireless you can use these modules in a 15 meters in, a, in house it works pretty good it works pretty good and this is the same I'm going to do and let's shut it down and let me show you how remote and local when I put the local mode it kicks in don't need to show any side of running or anything it all depend upon the central heating if launched or not there you go as soon as I finish all the niggly bits of it and put it in a small smart box I'm gonna make another video as well with it with the whole working with the central heating so I hope uh, you guys like it I'll try to put the code in um, I try to put the code in uh, somewhere online so if anybody wants to access it, but if somebody wants to do an urgent, please just just drop me an email or something on my email address, which I mentioned in my in, into the description. So I will be able to help with you guys. This is all done in uh, using uh, Adveno. Um, what ID I'm using? Ah, you can easily find it. It's, it's the latest one which I'm using. As you can see, it's two programs running in the same. Time. All right. I hope uh, this video would help uh, some people. To understand the things. Alright, thank you. See you later.